Um, yeah, so um, always a tough day um, when you have to make a lot of roster moves, which we had to make today. Uh, we're at 53 now. Um, and look, we had to release some, some good players. Um, there's still a lot to be done in terms of the roster with the practice squad and things of that nature. So that process never really ends. But um, uh, we went out and had a good practice today. And, and uh, we're moving forward and, and starting to get ready for the start of the regular season. Anybody uh, starting the season on that? Um, I don't know for sure on that answer. That's probably something that would, uh, if that's the case, would probably occur at some point next week. Uh, tough, real tough. Um, you know, Will that's been a good kicker for us for for a while now, and so that was obviously a you know a tough decision. Um, and uh, look, we we felt like we had a chance to get value for a player, and we felt like we had another guy in the building that we had confidence in. So uh, those are always challenging situations. With with both of the undrafted rookie kicker and punter, was, was it just that? You know, they exceeded expectations and, and like almost made it sort of an undeniable. Well, look, I, I don't know if it was undeniable. I mean, I, I you know, it's a, it's a tough situation to be in, but yet it's a good situation because we felt like, you know, of those four, we had four guys that are NFL caliber players. And so, um, you know, we decided to, to go with the young guys. Does being younger cost-effective, longer contracts, does that? Look, there's a lot of things that go into, uh, you know, roster decisions. Um, and so, you know, we, we, we basically took everything to, into account when we made these decisions. What about Blake's makeup makes you feel like he's a guy? Um, well, I, I don't know if it's necessarily about the makeup. Um, you know, certainly I think he's a confident young man, but um, I think it's really just about – the fact that he's he's gone out and performed and performed well, um, and so, um, and look, everybody, every player at some point has been his first opportunity, you know, and and so, uh, I don't think we're unique in that situation. Yeah, you're able to share an update on uh, Jameis Winston not being at practice. Um, he injured his wrist in the game. Um, it's it's not significant. I think it's more more or less a day to day deal. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that for right now. I can't wait for the regular season where I can just put out an injury report and then I don't want to talk about it anymore. I was wondering how long you It's not, it, not much longer. Sorry. How difficult was it to release Bradley Roby, the guy that's been with you all? Extremely. Yeah. The confidence in the young DBs? Yeah, I think. Um, you know, again, like we've talked about with a lot of things, there's a lot of factors that go into it. But yeah, we do have confidence um, in in the young DBs being able to step in and, and, and do that job. And so, um, like I said, there, there's always a lot of difficult decisions that have to be made at this time of year. And um, we made the ones that we feel like uh, are, are all encompassing best for our football team. What, what does that say about your confidence in Alante Taylor being able to play the slot? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely confident in that. He's got all the ability to be able to do it. Uh, the one thing he lacks is the experience in there, um, and certainly he'll, he'll gain that experience as he gets more and more playing time in there. Um, we got a lot of time between now and the time we line up against Tennessee, so um, that's where a lot of his focus will be. Is Ugo Amadi another candidate mm -hmm. there? We've yeah. seen him do that a lot. I mean, confidence in what you saw from him. Yeah, I thought he had a really good preseason. Um, you know, he did a lot of good things, not only in the in the games and the practices. Uh, so I thought, you know, the preseason was a really good exposure for him. Do you think you'll have more moves to make before <clears throat> the opener? Think this well, certainly there's there's 16 practice squad guys. Right. Um, um, yeah, I, it, that's hard for me to say whether or not there'll be any more moves or not, but. You know, typically, um, there's a lot of moves that happen within the first, call it month of the season, really. There's a lot of up and down off the roster, practice squad, off the practice squad. There, there's, there's generally a, a pr pretty, uh, pretty good amount of, of movement throughout the league. I have no idea, as I sit here right now, what any other transactions happened across the league, really. So, uh, obviously, we'll take a look at the, the transactions today and, and 
you know, there's a claiming process that goes on. There's veterans that get released off of other teams. So um, we're always looking for any way that we can maybe improve our football team. And so I was going to actually ask you about that. What's, what's this process like after all the decisions are made throughout the week? Like, how much time do you guys, like, how late are you going to be in here tonight looking at um, we'll be here for a while, you know. Um, so we've got, you know, roster uh, issues to deal with. Um, you know, we'll look and see, you know, what what team, what moves other teams made across the league. Our personnel guys will be, you know, heavily involved in evaluating players. And, and if we feel like we've got some guys that, that we kind of like, you know, coaches will get involved in that. And then we've also got some uh, – you know, game planning stuff in terms of getting ready for Tennessee. So there's a lot to get done. Is there a chance Jalen Smith could be back in some form of fashion? I would say there's a chance, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think your, your entire rookie class made this team, uh, the, the 53, the initial 53 at least. What, what did you like out of those guys in training camp? Is specifically guys like A.T. Perry? Well, look, I, I think, you know, I, I feel like all the, all the young guys, um, Particularly the draft choices, um, you know, stepped up and performed at a at a at a high level during training camp. Um, there's always a little bit of uh, I don't know what that word is trepidation or whatever with with you know young kids. We all like you know the experienced player, uh, but yet uh, at the same time, um, you know, having having young guys that you can develop, uh, always having you know, a, 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 a pipeline to your, to your football team, I think, is important. So um, it's always a good balance to have, you know, the, the older veteran guys that provide the leadership and experience, um, the, the veteran players that are in, say, years three through seven, somewhere in there, that are experienced but aren't at the level of uh, the leadership level maybe that some of those older veteran guys are, and then young guys that you're developing. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job of developing guys around here. What, what did you like so much about Kirk Merritt's transition to running back that, that he kind of outlasted some more experienced guys? Yeah, well, I, I think it's probably a little bit twofold. Um, I thought early on, um, I thought there were some growing pains uh, with that transition. I thought there was a point in training camp where, um, you know, he really looked good, and we felt like, man, this is a guy that we, we kind of like. Um, and then obviously with the injury, it's been a, been a setback there. So, uh, and yet running back is a position that we're probably a little light at, um, you know, with, uh, with Alvin, you know, going on the suspension list. So, um, you know, that was a, a, a position that we felt like, well, we, we, need to, we need to keep the extra guy and, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. His ability to be sort of a space player like Alvin, does that allow yeah, you to do Yeah, probably a little bit. I mean, he's got a, he's got a unique skill set. Um, I think also his ability to potentially help us on special teams is, is valuable. <laughs> and so did AK officially go on the list today? Like, is he away from that the club at this moment? He is, yeah. Just to follow up on Luke's question earlier about all seven draft picks making the team kind of make you feel good, but specifically the, the earlier picks, I think, not that they didn't earn it as much, but the, the later picks like Jordan Howden and, and, uh, and A.T. Perry, I mean, those guys had to have done something that, you know, what can you highlight on, on Howden and Perry's kind of development throughout camp? That yeah, I, look, I think, they, I think they got better every single day. And, uh, you know, you started seeing some consistency in performance. Um, it didn't start out that way. Uh, but over the, over the course of time, throughout all of OTAs, training camp through the preseason, they proved that they were worthy of a roster spot. You know, um, I think it's a testament to um, not only our, our college scouting department and going out and finding um, these players that fit uh, both what we're looking for from an athletic skill set standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from a culture standpoint. Um, and then I think it's also a testament to the assistant coaches in developing these guys. And that's – that's the that's the business of pro football, draft and develop, draft and develop, draft and develop, um, and so um, I think it's a testament to to both, you know, the uh, college scouting and and also our coaching staff. Yeah, you've seen with a lot of these UDFAs over the last few years. Year one, it's kind of development. Year two, you see guys like Nephi, Kirk this year kind of latch on to the roster. Is that 
kind of the messaging to some of these younger players who might be getting cut right now is, okay, keep developing, keep developing. Yeah, look, there, there's guys that make NFL teams from all sorts of different backgrounds, whether it's, um, you know, a tryout guy, an undrafted free agent, a draft choice, a free agent that you acquire uh, from another team. So I, I just think, um, you know, we're in the business of developing players, and, and that's what our job is as a coaching staff. And um, if you get the right players that fit your um, needs, what you're looking for in terms of the athlete, the skill set, the, uh, the mental makeup, uh, as well as fit your culture, uh, I think there's a chance for those guys to come in and have success. Jimmy Graham, did he solidify the spot with his signed performance, or it was just kind of reaffirm you bring it in on the fifth three man? No, I think I think the last game was important for Jimmy, and um, you know, like I said the other day, um, you know, I started to see signs of what I was looking for, um, you know, out in LA in the practices against the Chargers. I think that continued into last week practice uh, and on into the game. So. I'd say the last 14 days have been important in terms of, you know, his ability to be a part of this team. Okay, guys, thanks.